transforming your life through hypnotherapy has never been easier. With the help of your host, Julie, from coachinghypnosis.net, and these power-packed minisodes, you're sure to find yourself engaging in more positive behaviors around both your physical and mental health. Here's your host, Julie. G'day, it's Julie from coachinghypnosis.net, and welcome to the five fabulous sleep hypnosis tips for 2022. Because right now people are tired from being so friggin' awesome and two-thirds of the world believe they're not getting enough sleep. And some doctors have even coined the term COVID somnia or corona insomnia. And I'm not a therapist or a psychotherapist, but this is my ninth year as a clinical hypnotherapist in strategic psychotherapy. I currently help my clients online. They change their lives without changing out of their pyjamas. And the reason why I'm compelled to address the topic of sleep hypnosis is because you deserve to have the best sleep ever. And as a hypnotherapist, there are multiple factors that can lead someone to not be able to sleep. And most of us are aware of monophasic sleep. We sleep once per day. But it's easy to forget how comfortable we were with polyphasic sleep as babies. And maybe you're just not aware how fabulous you are. Within the first 20 minutes of sleep, most of our bodies achieve all these great things. Our blood pressure is lowered, our heart rate, our pulse allowing deep relaxation of the mind. And hypnosis also achieves the exact same effect. In fact, hypnosis can influence the larger, slower brainwave oscillations that can lead us to deep sleep. But I don't want you to understand this topic too quickly, so take your time. There are about seven main cognitive patterns clients can have that can influence why they aren't sleeping. But first of all, clients need to check they don't have any underlying conditions or if they have sleep apnea or anxiety because sometimes a lack of sleep can be a leading indicator for anxiety. And some of the ways people can think when they're not able to sleep is rumination, overthinking thoughts, the spinning round and round of feelings or thoughts. Sleep hygiene. You know the bedroom shouldn't be for eating or being on your mobile phone. It should really be your sleep sanctuary. Compartmentalization. Some people aren't aware it can take up to an hour to fall asleep. Some clients need the room temperature to be perfect. Or there needs to be a process to stop thinking too much. Discovering all the finer steps. External locus of control. Focusing on the external environment rather than the internal environment. Waking up strategies, expecting to wake up and feel different, and how we address these cognitions in hypnosis is one at a time. And some of these things might sound like you, or maybe none of those things. It reminds me of a client who came to see me for insomnia, and as a hypnotherapist, it can be hard to know what cognitive patterns to address. First, we need to talk it through with their subconscious mind. And as you know, our subconscious mind reminds us to blink, regulate our body temperature and to breathe without us having to think about it. And so when this client described that when they would finally go to bed at three o'clock in the morning, they would just lay there and they couldn't sleep, I slowly worked through all the cognitive patterns of insomnia. And maybe I should have picked up on it on our first session, the statement of when I finally go to bed at three o'clock in the morning. It turns out they didn't have insomnia. They suffered from procrastination. You actually need to make the effort to go to bed and attempt to sleep at a reasonable hour before you know you have a problem with sleeping. Here are the five fabulous sleep hypnosis tips for 2022. Tip one, step up your sleep success with sleep hygiene. Sleep time is not for checking mobile phones or thinking, but if you're busting to check your mobile phone, or to think about something. Guess what? You can, but you need to leave the bedroom to do it and return to the bedroom. This creates the ultimate sleep sanctuary, turning your bedroom into a snoozing oasis. Tip two, end your rumination and cognitive arousal in one easy move. Some people think they're not allowed to think before they sleep. In fact, you are allowed to think, but the thoughts you have must be positive, peaceful, distant. So try not to calculate if there's any planets beyond Neptune 
how gravity works, where is everyone, or why is there more matter than antimatter? Your soothing, positive, peaceful, distant thoughts can have light visualization or sounds of a pleasant kind, and you'll know the right kind for you. Fall in love with compartmentalization because it seems like nothing in life is a given anymore, and sleep is no exception, except when it is. There are steps for cooking, steps for driving a car, and there are steps to be able to sleep. As you already know, your bedroom should be clean and comfortable. But for some, having their bedroom at an ideal temperature is the deal breaker. Tip 3. Set up a bedtime ritual and allow yourself 30 minutes of solid thinking time before sleep time. Your thinking time needs to ideally be somewhere else in your home away from the bedroom, in a chair. Get all those thoughts over and done with, allowing your body, mind, spirit to be in a fabulous state before snooze time. Tip four, reward yourself for the right behavior. Take a few deep, slow, relaxing breaths. Close your eyes and allow your mind to flood with soothing, peaceful, positive, distant thoughts. If at any stage you can't resist cognitive arousal, or negative thoughts, give yourself permission to leave the bedroom for five minutes, to sit in a chair and overthink till it's out of your system. Tip five, be a little kinder to yourself. It's in your internal environment that will help you fall asleep. Maybe you have experienced a time in your life when you were a tired child in a mother's arms and you could just sleep anywhere. And because you've done it before, you can do it again. And now that you have the five fabulous sleep hypnosis tips for 2022, maybe there'll be a time in the future when you want assistance on how to wake up feeling energized, loving life, ready to start a new day. Because yesterday you knew exactly how you'll wake up today. And not all clients want the same thing when they wake up. Some clients want to put on their shoes and run out the door. Some want to feel grateful. Start the habit of eating breakfast. Feel sexual. You need to create what you want, how you want to feel tomorrow. Because yesterday, you knew exactly how you'd feel today. And today, you can start to think about how you want to feel tomorrow. Because you're perfect, just as you are. So what if you made a small change that could influence how you sleep? What if you didn't? The choice is yours.